forever and ever. Amen. Let us continue in prayer. Majestic and magnificent God, creator of us all, you have created from one blood all peoples to dwell upon the face of the earth. Forgive us as a nation for succumbing to any spirit that has sought to separate, divide, polarize, and antagonize us. When you have ordained us to be one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Therefore, create in us a clean heart and renew within us a right spirit that we might reflect your nature and character, which is oneness. For we are indeed stronger together because we know that a house divided against itself cannot stand. As we prepare tonight to hear from our nominee and go forward, from this convention. Strengthen our hands, O oh Lord, through the power of the Holy Spirit for the work ahead of elevating this nation to a place where unity trumps division, peace trumps war, and love trumps hate. We ask, dear Lord, that you anoint Madam Hillary Clinton as our 45th president to lead us to become a stronger and more compassionate nation where nonviolence is a way of life and to lead us to overcome the systemic issues of race and economic injustice that persist from our past. Help us, dear Lord, to become a nation with a true spirit of justice, equity, and inclusion. May we be the people in this party who always operate on the high plane of dignity and discipline, love and togetherness, for indeed we are stronger together. We praise you, we glorify you, and we bless you and thank you for these United States of America. In Jesus' name, I pray.